Hello everyone, Forex here. I am currently at my oldest research center where me and my colleagues work all day and all night doing research and experimenting, making new scripts and structures to bring them to you along with the usual tutorials. Whenever you discover a new command and you are interested in its behavior and you might want to use it in one of your missions, it is often a very good idea to test that command in a controlled environment, where you can easily see the direct effects, see how it works and if you have a new script instead of a command, you can also easily isolate errors or a potentially unwanted behavior. I've done a lot of testing in Arma games and spent quite a lot of time learning about new things and even though I still consider myself being still far away from being an expert, I feel adequately knowledgeable to present you my subjective list of 5 most rare to use commands for Arma 3. A few notes before we start, please note that the list is very subjective and may be biased towards some commands. There are no exact statistics on how many times people use specific commands, so this list sums up my personal view on the game's commands rather than a public opinion. If you don't agree with the list, you can create your own, but please just remember that there is no right answer in this case. Also, please don't take this video as me bad-mouthing the developers for making bad commands, that is not my intention at all. I just try to select the commands that need the most specific set of circumstances to be actually useful and most probably won't make an appearance in a classic mission. The commands I'm about to present to you are 5 commands that I have selected out of all publicly known commands for Arma 3 and I focused on the number of situations where they can be used and how important for a mission can such a command be. While there are many very specific commands that are only valuable in a very specific mission type, I think that I have managed to select some commands that really have so limited use that you may never even use them or hear about them again. So sit back, we are starting with number 5. Move to failed. This command checks whether the latest move to command has failed or not. It returns true or false based on that and could actually find some use in some very narrow set of missions, but sadly, since a command move to completed exists, a command that asks for exactly the same thing and only returns a reversed value, I really don't see how useful it is to have another command just to ask for the same thing in a different way. All you need to do is to add an exclamation mark before the move to completed command and you don't need the move to failed at all. Number 4. Benchmark. The command benchmark was used in Operation Flashpoint, now named Arma Cold War Assault and it was able to evaluate the 3D performance of the computer. That information could then be used to dynamically change the mission to improve the performance. Like lowering the view distance, disabling and deleting distant objects or deleting decorations. What seems to be a very useful command, especially for certain script heavy missions that struggle to load everything on slower computers, only worked for the first Arma game. Since then the command has been set to always return 2000. It doesn't measure anything. So it's actually quite sad because I'm sure that some mission makers could really use a command like that and improve the experience for lower end PCs just by dynamically shifting the quality of the clutter around or the view distance. However, as it stands, the benchmark command returns a fixed value and you probably won't use that at all. Number 3. Humidity. This command returns the humidity of the air at the present moment. Maybe this command will have more use in a new terrain Tanoa. For now the values range from 0 to 1 and they can only be influenced by rain. When it starts raining the value goes rapidly to 1 and if the rain stops the value goes back to 0. I really don't imagine how useful this command could be in a common mission. It probably isn't one of the most used ones. Its only function at the present moment could be checking if it's raining or not, and that can be done more precisely with the command rain. Number 2. 
word name. Another command that I don't want to criticize, but at the same time I have a difficult time imagining a situation where I would need it. Maybe it's just my own problem and I don't know the game enough. The world name command returns the name of the currently loaded world. I could see a use for this command in like a main menu, where the game has to decide which screen to load, but in a mission it makes almost no sense to use the command. The way missions are made in Arma, where you always have to specify where the mission takes place, on which island, and the island is also by default a part of the name of the mission, I don't really see how you would ever need to use the command to ask which island is loaded. Of course it's the one where the mission takes place, and you as a mission creator should know where that is. The mission wouldn't even work on other islands anyway. So yeah, this command, good for main menu probably, good outside of the missions, but for you, a user, something you will probably never see or type into the mission. And finally, number one, finite. This is a command that I don't think many people would use in their missions at all. It returns true or false if the given number is finite or not. Well, there aren't that many situations where you would need that and normally don't reach infinity in your scripts, but sometimes you may reach an invalid number. The command should also return false if the number is invalid. And this is the point where the main reason why the command is so high on this list comes in. The command doesn't really do a very good job at that. Sure, if you try a squared root of negative 1, it will correctly return false, as that isn't valid in real numbers. But mistakes like that should be avoided by you, not really by the computer. What can happen quite easily with some equations, much more likely to be used in scripts, a situation where you divide by zero, which returns an error. And that's the main problem, it returns an error even when used with the finite command. The game simply doesn't allow that, the error pops up faster than the command brings any results. So in that sense, the command won't help you avoiding division by zero, that will still be only your work. And well, there are more flaws here. The command also has a fixed value for infinity, as pretty much all computers have to. Any numbers higher than that are considered infinite, and honestly, the number is quite big, but it's not that big. We are talking about a command that is pretty much strictly just for the use in mathematical functions and might help with some invalid numbers, as an early check before the number gets sent to another command. But honestly, the command doesn't even do a proper job at that. The maximum value that is considered a number is approximately 3.4 times 10 to the power of 38. Pretty much the highest representable value of a float number. I will leave the exact number in the video description. What is also quite interesting, the game does some strange computing when near this limit. It seems the command has some quite strange rules when choosing whether the number is infinite or not. If you take a number higher than the 3.4 times 10 to the power of 38, even higher by 1, the game automatically displays false, this is not a finite number. When you try to display the number, for example with a command hint, the game will even write INF for infinity. However, when you input the highest number in the game and add 1, the game will still say that the number is finite. It will even display the number. At this point it seems like there is some rounding happening in the background that we can't see or influence, but even if you try to sum the highest number possible with itself, the game will still return true, that is a number that exists, even if you add a row of zeros into the middle. However, try to multiply the number by 2, which should get you exactly the same number, and the command will tell you that the number is infinite. Or try to take a number only very slightly over the top barrier for the game's highest numbers and divide it by itself. The game of course won't be able to represent the result on the screen, 
and the finite command will tell you that the result, which in our minds is 1, is infinity for the computer. So there is some very strange stuff happening around this command, it is not really very useful in the first place and even if you had the idea of using it in a mission for something, you may reconsider your decision after seeing how strange this command behaves in situations where you actually need to know whether the number is infinite, finite or even valid. So there you go, my personal list of 5 most rarely used commands that I can't imagine many situations where they could be used. I am aware that there are many more commands that some of us will never use. I just picked some interesting ones in a way that I had a very hard time imagining situations where you would really need those commands. I'm not saying that this is a definitive list or anything. And also, this is it for this video. I hope to see you all in the next one. Comment, like and share. And have a great day.